Hello and welcome to the People's Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of November, December 14th, 2020. Sorry, I'm always trying to time work backward and hoping things will turn out better, but you know, it's going to turn out the same. <laughs> but like I am sorry about that. It is December 14th. Well, let's see here. Today is a day where the Electoral College voted and made Joe Biden the President of the United States, and Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States and the Senate. So, go Biden and Harris. Good job. It, but it's also the day we expected to see the, the, outlaw, the proposal, the actual bill for the $908 billion stimulus proposal written up by the bipartisan uh, senators. Well, the word on the street is that they were they'll unveil today, sometime today. We don't know when. They haven't yet that we know of. But it'll be presented in two options, or basically in two different bills. Your first option we're looking at is a seven hundred and forty-eight billion dollars of relief items that we saw in my outlines I did last week. That I will let's see here. It's basically everything. Minus the liability protection and the state and local protect and uh, state and local funding, those two are missing out of it. That's why it's seven hundred forty-eight billion dollars. Or the second option is the option that leaves one hundred sixty billion dollars in it for the state and local as well as liability protections. We we don't really know actually what's going to happen with that, but we do suspect that um, because Mitch McConnell still supports nine hundred sixteen billion dollars to his package because it basically includes a second stimulus check for $600 for the people. We already know that also Donald Trump has said that he, will, he won't sign any bill unless it has stimulus checks in it, but it needs to be greater than $600. And we also know that there's Bernie Sanders and another senator out there that are trying to do a standalone bill for basically a second stimulus check for the people that we don't know whether they're going to actually try to attach it to the stimulus check or to the government funding bill. They're suspect, we're suspecting that that'll be attached to the actual stimulus package itself as an add-on. But this alone says that the politicians are not confident on the state and local funding or liability protection that will please the powers that be, basically being Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi. And but we do know that Mitch McConnell did say that he does not have a problem with putting state and local funding as well as liability protection on a stimulus package for next year. And, and that he is open to the $916 million uh, stimulus package that was put together by Steve Mnuchin, which is the one that includes the $600 stimulus checks. The $908 billion one is one that includes unemployment, but no stimulus checks. So we're looking at a little here or everyone there. So we'll see what Mitch McConnell says. Pelosi hasn't indicated her a willingness to accept another stimulus proposal without stimulus, without basically state and local funding in it. And on Sunday, the first doses of the new Pfizer vaccine left Michigan and the shipment contained 184,275 vials. Pfizer says that they will be sending out another 390 doses today. And the official uh, officials from the Operation Warp Speed said that 40 million people will be 40 million doses will be distributed in the United States by the end of 2020, and their goal is to get 100 million people inoculated by the end of the first quarter of 2021. So let's see, in those doses we going out to the your basic the basic people, you know, the healthcare professionals and the elderly. So we shall see what what uh, Congress has to say about getting out the stimulus checks, getting out unemployment, getting out the vaccine. Yes, I grant you the state and local governments do need assistance, but they're not saying that they need the assistance in the 160 billion dollar range. They say they need the assistance in the 8.4 billion dollar range for distribution of the vaccine to their uh, to the residents. 
And I'm sorry this is such a short broadcast, but I hope you guys enjoyed my content. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe button and let me know in my comments what you think of what I've put up here for you. So until next time, you guys have a magnificent Monday. Have an excellent evening. Just stay safe. And remember, we're all in this together because basically it's all we got right now is each other. So until next time, you guys be safe. Bye. Thank you.